Hello, I'm Ian Matthew, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk Plant Solutions. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a new report that looks something like this, with a variety of information in the header area. In order to add these fields to the report header, they have to exist in the project database. So first going to the project manager, we go to the project setup, and in project details, client information, I'll add the company name, then going to Drawing Properties, we'll add a new category name, which is Customer Info. And then for these properties, we'll add a job number, a revision, origination date, and printed by. Then I'll right-click on the drawing and choose Drawing Properties. and I'll add values for these fields. Now I'll be able to add these fields to our new report and the report creator will then plug in these values. So now let's go to the report creator. We'll start off with the sample project and I want to choose the specific drawing I'm interested in. And I'm going to create a new configuration based on the existing 3D parts configuration. I'll call this new configuration AEC BOM. So looking at the query configuration, I don't have to change anything, it's appropriate. But I do need to do a fair bit of work on the layout and fields in the report designer. First I'll eliminate the fields that exist here in the header area and make the area much larger to accommodate the new fields. Let's delete the logo and let's change the name of the report here. We'll call it Acme Bill of Materials and instead of bold I'll make it italics and I'll center it. Now I'll add a table so that I can line up all the fields I want in my header area. I'll stretch the table and size the cells so they're evenly spaced across the top of my report. These cells are going to contain the new information I added to my drawing. Let's check the spacing by clicking on Print Preview. looks okay. Now let's insert the number of rows needed for all of the data. And let's go ahead and change the font. We'll use Arial. Now I'll change the, this label to title and we'll pull in from the field list the drawing name. I'll do the same for the description and pull in the drawing description from the database. Now for the client and pull in the company name from the client information. Same for the job number. And the same for the drawing number. No need to show you all of them. So once we're completed, here we are. We have the revision, the author, the origination date, and the printed by. We don't need the print date as it appears on the footer automatically in this configuration file, as does the page number. OK, so now I'm going to show you how to adjust the body of the report configuration so it displays the columns of data that you want. I'm going to change this particular field to match my new requirements. Let's change this one to item code and let's change this one to shop field. And then I'll change the PN to read line number. And finally I'll change the angle to spec. 
So now we have to go to the next brand to change the fields so they bring in the proper data. We select item code. We select shop field from the field list and the line number. Drop it in the appropriate place. And then finally the specification. And that's it. Let's look at it through print preview to check it. Yes, it looks just the way I want it to be. So we save it and now we're ready to go ahead and produce a report. So we go ahead and do a print export and it'll create the report that we just created. Here it is. We're done. That's how simple it is. So in this video we've learned how to create a new report. We did this by adding properties in Plant 3D and then adding values to those properties. We based the new report on an existing one and we used tables in the header to add and align the fields. Finally we used labels and we added the data to make the, the label look the way we want to. We previewed the report then finally we ran it. So there we go. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.